existed in this zone, there are close to 300 such in Bangalore alone. Yeah. Uh, Vacuum traps? Yeah, they're called honey suckers in the parlance of us uh, civil engineers and sanitation engineers mm -hmm. uh, coming from South Africa. The poor. Mm -hmm. So, for 1,200 bucks to 2,500 bucks, depending on the distance and where it is, mm -hmm. and at, at a mobile call, they'll come to your house. In 15 minutes, they'll empty your septic tank or pit. Mm -hmm. They'll take it out and they'll remove it. The owner is happy to pay the 1,200 bucks. It occurs once in four years, five years, or six years, because that is deep pits. It fills up four, five, six years. Mm -hmm. Maybe second, third time, two years or three years. But that's not. It's so much cheaper than a sewage system. Well, see, then there are implications which you will start to figure out what happens is that it's definitely cheaper than a sewage system. It's incremental in nature. In sewage systems, you have to put in 30 crores and plonk it off and dig up the roads and put those pipes and, and then it's got one time and you it's don't know whether it's going to function or not. Mm -hmm. And you don't know how many are going to get connected. Ah. You, you don't know. And it's not a matter of... Uh, also, if you form a connect, if you make a connection and yeah. you change the land use laws, right. I mean, let's say there are three houses here, yeah. right? After a while, the property rates go up, right. they all build builder flats, right. same sewage system mm -hmm. has to tackle yeah. ten times more... Uh, yeah, yeah. So there are big challenges. So then you do a new line, mm -hmm. you expand the diameter of the pipes, the manholes, all that kind of rigmarole starts. But it's messy and it's not functional. Mm -hmm. Now, the beauty of it also works this way, that if your septic tank is overflowing, mm -hmm. you are the one who is most incentivized to get it empty because it's making a mess in your own house and in your own neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So people are complaining. But if a manhole overflows, you know, it's the city's responsibility and nobody's uh, bothered. It must be because of your loo that it got choked, but you are unconcerned. And there's no incentive to push you to the beds. That, these are small things. What happens next is very fascinating. This stuff was being taken out by the sunny suckers because there was a need. The city periphery doesn't have any connection. They would take it and dump it outside the city. Till farmers realize that this is manure, and you're talking about cow dung and its price, 800 bucks. Mm -hmm. Farmyard manure in Bangalore is about 1,500 bucks a tractor load. Farmyard manure, 1,500 piece a tractor load. It's getting rarer because cows are getting rarer, so it's getting tougher. And people are willing to pay the same amount for human shit. So what farmers do now, and make a small video also to put it up, is that they have these pits about 20 feet wide, about 60, 80 feet long, about 3 to 4 feet deep. And they get these honey suckers to empty into that tray. Mm. Sometimes they cover it with earth and leave it for a month or three months. Mm. They mix it with farmer manure and resell it. Mm. So they've created an economy around it. Mm. And they all say that the power of this, that's the way they talk, is four times that of farmyard. So it's very powerful. And so they put it for all plants. And they grow trees, bananas, papaya, everything, and there's lots of productivity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my thesis and uh, argument that it's because of this that the food prices are at least cheaper in cities. <laughs> Truly. Yeah. Because you're getting free manure, which you're using it, and otherwise the food inflation would have been much higher. And look at the irony of it all. Mm -hmm. Here, this is truly eco -sand. Without the, sub, uh, without the farm and thing, here you're getting a sanitation service, you're getting it to pay for itself, you're recovering the nutrient value and you're actually growing food with it. And it, it's all being done in the informal sector. Players who are involved with it are ring makers, people who make rings, concrete rings, for the pit lettering. Okay. There are about 2,000, 2,500 2, concrete ring makers, all informal sector not recognized by the state, state as sanitation players, right? Sounds like a beautiful story. It is a beautiful story. It's more, you will, when you get into all this, it's, it's such a fascinating construct. Previously, these trucks used to be made in Sholapur. Mm. The tank would be assembled in Hyderabad, and the pump would be made in Coimbatore. Mm. So the truck is a Tata chassis, which mm. goes to one place and the barrel is assembled. Then it goes to another place where the pump is assembled. It's a 30 horsepower pump connected to the diesel engine, right? Mm. So there's no, nothing extra in it. Hmm. Now, local tinkerers, you know, small time guys, are starting to make it. <laughs> There's one guy near Pinya, here in Bangalore, who took one year to make the first one. Hmm. Now he can deliver in three months. So he gets a chassis, he gets these steel plates, he makes the barrel and he 
buys the pump and he fits it in in three months and is in business and is making money. The first ones came from South Africa. But the first honey suckers uh, perhaps came from South Africa. I think the first model at least was copied from South Africa. Mm. Now it's just locally produced everywhere, right? Mm. So again, it's in the informal sector that this money is being made. Chassis, of course, you buy it from Tata or Shortly, generally Tata. The rest is stuff. And then they're all now miniaturizing it, optimizing it, because you have to get in into chota gullies, no? Mm. So they make it smaller, they make the pumps more powerful, so the pipe can reach 250 feet. So you can stand anywhere at 250 feet, you know, suck it all out, like that. And here's the manurial capabilities being reused very positively. And farmers figured out that you can't put it for tomato, you can't put it for rice paddy, you can only put it for this, that, how much you put, when you put, all that is there. And savings are actually in lakhs because there's a nutrient-based subsidy scheme kicking it into the fertilizer industry. You are finding it difficult to access phosphate, potash, and all that stuff, mm -hmm. which is in short supply. Whereas this is giving you all some nutrition, right? It's giving you everything. Mm -hmm. So, there is this, uh, how, now the challenge is, how do you mainstream it? Or should you mainstream it at all? I, I am very mixed on this. I, should one bring it up and on the radar at all? Should one talk to the decision makers? Or will simply pushing it on their plate result in rent seeking behavior? So, hmm? jab tak badta hai badne do. Jab tak hota hai badne do, ek saiz aja ga, uske baat kuch nika pa and the, the beauty of it is all that technically also it's very optimal because if you link your pit toilet to your toilet, your water requirement drops. Otherwise, you need 150 to 200 liters of self cleans and velocity for sewage pipes to be clean. Here, you can put a steep lease flowing 2 liter uh, pan mm -hmm. and link it to your pit. So, there's a dramatic reduction in water consumption if this model is adopted. Of course, there are problems in the sense if there is a high water table area or high rock area, then you have an issue. Ha, to groundwater pollution ho jayega, surface water pollution ho jayega. Lekin uske liye, people need alternatives. Batao kya kare? Ab humara ghar yahan pe hai, sanitation You take it through a pipeline and you dump it in a lake of Bangalore, it's the same thing. Ha, ha, nahi. Tum to yahan to rivers ko khatam kar raha. Ha, lake nahi, kaveri nahi me chhod raha. Woh alag hai. Lekin yahan pe, thoda sa tweak kiya na, thoda sa seal kar diya bottom. Thoda frequency of cleaning ज़्यादा कर दिया या फिर टॉयलेट और बाथरूम के चिंका पानी सेपरेट कर दिया लोगों को बता दिया कि दो पेट बना लो एक में ये डालो एक में वो डालो इन दैट सेंस देन यू कैन स्टार्ट टू मिनिमाइज पोल्यूशन डोमेटिकली एंड कंटेमिनेशन जैसे नाइट्रेट कंटेमिनेशन बैक्टीरियल कंटेमिनेशन बी कम फ्रॉम शेट सो यू कैन एबल टू आइसोलेट दट शेट एंड टेक इट अवे मोर फ्रिक्वेंटली द रेस्ट ऑफ द वाटर कैन कंटिन्यू टू पोल्यूट बट इट वोट भी एज हार्मफुल एज बोत ऑफ दैम पोल्यूट तो टेक्निकल सोल्यूशन भी उसमें आने लगेंगे और सबसे बड़ी बात एक बार आप खेत में डाल दो इसको और जोड़ दो एक महीना छोड़ दो तो करीबन दो साल या तीन साल आपको और कोई मजूर जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि ये स्लो रिलीज है 